Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty 786-0911 in color from Technicolor from near Carrizozo, New Mexico at home base number 49. Anyway, with that in mind, today is the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now, and if it, it, it just went that way. And if there's anything you want to do, you better be doing it. So anyway, I've been living in an RV a long time. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Carrizozo, New Mexico? In Carrizozo right now, it's 56 degrees. With a high of 78. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The current temperature in Butte is 60 degrees. Whoa! <laughs> Yo, but it's tomorrow morning, it's supposed to be 35. But anyway, what else can I tell you? Hey Google, tell us an adult joke. Here's a dirty joke. I what did one say groom dirt. say to the other? Have you heard the latest dirt? Apparently the vacuum cleaner bit the dust. I didn't want to ask you. Hey Google, tell us an adult joke. Here's a dirty joke for you. Why did the coffee taste like mud? Because it was ground just a couple minutes ago. Jeez. <clears throat> Can't understand English. My perfect English. But anyway, what else can I tell you guys? The noon video today, I don't know. I haven't done it yet, but it'd probably be a driving video because I think I've got to go to uh, Ruidoso um, or, or go somewhere. I got, I'm got one banana left. I've already got my breakfast banana over there, but I've got one for tomorrow, so I better go do that. So I might go to Ruidoso. I might do that. might do that because it's you know just a few minutes farther. And that way I can get some other stuff at Walmart. So I'll probably do that and do a driving video about uh, grasshoppers. <laughs> None your biz. Fridges are easy to fix. Watch YouTube vids. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, there's a... Uh, actually, it's a freezer in the garage thing here. But it doesn't work. And uh, yeah, I could probably fix it. I don't need it. I mean, I got more freezer space in my RV fridge than I need. So uh, yeah, I don't need much. Uh, Guardian Pet Care and Massage Gym says, uh, hop on, let's go for a ride. Okay, yeah. Thanks for the walk along, Rusty. Nice town. That was in, uh, in uh, Carrizozo. Uh, let's go way on down. Let's, let's, go to, let's go about 14 hours in and see what we got. Here we go. We'll start at 15, 16 hours. How about that? Dale, we'll start with a poem. Dale Pointer. Here we go. Got a long poem here. Dale Pointer. 1877, the Butler Brothers came in. 1927, changed the name to Ben Franklin. Sam Walton managed one, and it's true, his experience created a monopoly too. Small towns are pure Norman Rockwell, mom and pop stores and local sales. Midtown artisanship, so cool and neat, and chairs and so sidewalks to rest, rest your feet. Take a breath and eat chocolate. Guys, look at the morning awakening of sunrise. Slow and easy, small town, perfect vibe. It's around the block. Just go for a ride. Thank you very much, Dale Pointer, for your morning poetry. Benny Hill, I wonder when he'd leave a comment. Benny Hill, ain't nobody going to break my spine. Ain't nobody going to slow me down. Oh, no, I got to keep moving, moving. Whatever. Back on the meds there, Benny Hill. Sharon Lee M., what happened to your old trike? I gave it away. <clears throat> uh, hello, this is Maureen Lowe from New Zealand. Says, hi from New Zealand. I remember you showing us this sitting spot before. What a great little cozy corner to sit and watch the world go by. I think I spotted what looked like a bicycle rack with a donkey type head and tail close by the wooden seat. Yep, that's what that is right next to that little sitting spot. Uh, this is Angie. I enjoy seeing places like this. As I, I enjoy seeing paper, places as this. Uh, I too live in a little old town where the war men and ladies were stationed years ago. They used to train, they used the train to get there. 
I need to read the true full story of my town. Anyway, thank you, Angie, and enjoy your day. Glad you enjoyed the video. Wayside Wade, nice to see you exploring the town, Rusty. Some great finds here. Yeah, it's a neat little community. It's uh, it used to be a lot busier. I don't know what happened. Mr. CJ Cav 64 chugging along the trains. Yeah, they come by. There's about five or six a day, I think, going you know both directions. But it doesn't bother me here. Sam Buchanan, be a, be a nice man and give the goat a ride on your trike. The old stinking screaming goat from outer space, the alien goat with one ear gives you a kiss this morning. And yeah, uh, Sam Buchanan says, uh, oh, is this the, Louis, Ch Louis Channel says, is this the place where the parade once stood? Where the, where, where the parade once stood? I don't know. <clears throat> Might have been. Got me. Uh, Sam Buchanan, put a goat pin in your shed. A goat pin? P-I-N pin? There you go. There's another goat kiss for you from the stinking goat. King for a day. <clears throat> ben Franklin was a five and dime or dime store, much like the dollar stores we have today. Cheap and inexpensive merchandise. Others were, at least in Texas, S.H. Cress, Kresge's, T.G.N.Y., Woolworths was kind of was a was kind of a bigger high end dime store. Other reason, regions of the country had their versions of these stores. I remember when we would go visit my grandmother in Slayton, Texas. She would take us down to the T G and Y, and give us give us a Franklin fifty cent piece, about five bucks a day, to buy whatever we wanted. That was pretty nice. That, that's a good memory. King for a day. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> uh, Mr. CJ Cav 4 says, good day, Rusty. Good day to you. Al Fur, thumbs up. Maureen Lowe says, amazing what you see whilst walking around. Seems your eyesight is pretty good, Rusty. Good on you. Not to disturb them and let them go on with their piggyback game. Yeah, they were, they were in heaven. Mark, thank you. Thank you very much, Maureen Lowe. Mark Reynolds, you got a nice property, Rusty. Enjoy time there. Yeah, I do. I do enjoy it a lot. And, uh, yeah, it's a real debate, man. I tell you, I don't really, I really don't want to borrow any money to build a cabin or a small home in Lano. So, we're going to have to see how that goes. Uh, there's a slim chance I could cash flow it. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Mark Reynolds, you got it. Oh, I read that. Uh... Sir Lurk a lot says making bacon. Yeah, I hear that. I used to, got a friend of mine used to have a picture in his office. Uh, Boondocking with Dennis paused in time. Yeah, the small town that stopped. Boondocking with Dennis says when I saw Grasshopper, I thought we were drinking. <clears throat> yeah, drinking the grasshoppers. Yeah. Anyway, check out Dennis's channel, Boondocking with Dennis. He lives in a pickup truck with a camper top. Been doing it for a long time. This is Cal Bob 750. Maine has a slogan, the way life should be. I'm thinking you've discovered the Western version of that slogan. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's certainly a slower pace. And that's what I'm thinking about, man, because I know in Lano that things have changed quite a bit in the last six months. And it, it is busier. I've talked to some people that have lived around there and uh, yeah they say yeah it's uh it's definitely gotten busier people coming and going on the weekend the weekends are horrible friday through sunday so i don't know man i don't know angie ha 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 i'm laughing my butt off at you yep he is needing help with his third leg it would be dragging between her poor little girl poor girl just like a male ha ha always needing help with that third leg prop yep starlight grasshopper porn too much for my eyes yeah, I hear you. James Ortiz, one is obviously hitching a ride. Yeah, that's what it was. That's a, uh, what do they call it? Um, Uber. <clears throat> that was an Uber grasshopper. <clears throat> Shift into high awesome on the on the downtown Carrizozo. Hurricane 806. Oh, they are riding piggyback for sure. M Michael, no, Mike, Michael Four Mitchell. He has, he has a hurt foot. 
Sometimes I see a dog with a hurt foot also. Yeah, I hear you. I hear that. Beth Ann Smith, I love the negative comments only because your comments are so spot on funny. Keep it up, Rusty. We get them, don't we? Not many, not any today, knock on wood. John B., hoist up the sail, John B. And I thought it was a tribute to the old number 69. You just can't tell with them damn grasshoppers. No, you can't. Jerry Davis, this is on the Cloudcroft place. Let me know when I can come visit. Been there in the early 60s. My dad had relatives there and grandfather's brother's family lived in Las Cruces. Picked black cherries up the road. I'm 70s now. Well, I'm no longer there, Jerry. New York Don, next stop, Willoughby. Yeah, that was a, that was a, a Twilight Zone, wasn't it? <clears throat> yeah, that was cute. Philip Vaught. Birds and the bees. Yeah, you got it. There's a song about that, too. The birds and the bees and the flowers and all that stuff. Anyway, Mouse Boots 46. Seems like a really cute little town. A bit too much traffic, though. Yeah, it is busy, I'm telling you. The traffic jams are horrible. Uh, anyway, uh, Texas Tejas Rob. <laughs> he says, a little privacy, please. You have the grasshoppers. I did. That's why I stopped the video. Uh, Bobber Guy 1. Says Rusty, just think Billy the Kid may have roamed your new property, but so did dinosaurs. Yeah, that's true. He probably crossed here on a horse because he used to go over to the uh, Ancho and this other little place here called White Horse or White something. Anyway, uh, yeah, and there was a bar there in that little town. It still is. Uh, Tracy Phillips, hi Rusty, interesting. Thank you. Rondolin one thirty four. It says, do you ever get lonely, boss? No. Fear of loneliness is keeping me from looking forward to doing long travels. Any ideas how we can combat feeling lonely on the road? Uh, I don't know. It's up to you. You're, you're the person in charge. Uh, for me, I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. I kind of stay busy. I read books, take walks, take drives. Uh, you know, there's always something to do, and doing these videos helps. But, uh, you know, I've been doing, th I've been doing this... Uh, one hand clapping, so to speak, for about, oh gosh, since 1987, let's see, 97, 07, that's 34 years, so I've gotten pretty good at it. Good luck. H Hog 1, my kind of town, yep, WTBM 123, cool. Uh, Google user, politically correct. Rusty, I appreciate that you do you. Those folks will do them. Thank you for those timely words of wisdom. Okay, well, here, there they are right there. I do me, you do you. Easy to remember, right? Easy peasy. In case you forget, it's right there. Yeah, it's the easiest thing. I mean, it's so easy for me to do me. WTBM123 says, Sam Walton from Walmart operated a Ben Franklin store at one time. I think that is where he started in retail stores. Could be. Marla Schaefer on the grasshoppers. No thumbs up on this one, Rusty. That's on the grasshoppers. You think that's big? I'm telling you, they get bigger than that. And we had a, quite a few this year, swarms. Uh, it says there's something about their growth. Uh, I don't know. I've seen some big grasshoppers out in Big Bend. I mean, some big old good ones. Uh, big Bend out in West Texas. Yeah, their, their bodies are about this wide. You know what I mean? And they're about this long. When they hit your windshield, it sounds like a damn bird. Phil Kapling, really neat extra home base, Rusty. Good work. Hope closing goes well for you. Yeah, they've already sent me an amendment uh, uh, change. In, well, not, they, they're changing the due date for the earnest money. You know, because the, the title company hadn't got the, a number for the deal yet. You know, let me tell you, man. Uh, I, I'm not going to say never. But unless I just have to, I will never use a realtor or a title company a company again. It's the biggest waste of time in the history of mankind. You know, it goes back and forth. Back, you can't deal directly with the owner. You know, and then the title company gets involved and gets their hand in your wallet, and then you got to get the inspections, and they get their hand in your wallet. Jesus Christ! Anyway, Phil Kaplan says really neat extra home base. I read that. Closing goes well. Yeah, it's going. It's going. Uh, Karen R., Sweet Little Town. Yeah, it really is. Very nice. 
RV living with the geezer. Rusty, does Carrizozo still have a golf course? No. The one that, that, that was built with this subdivision here, Valley del Sol, uh, they had a golf course right across the highway. <clears throat> a good one. And a country club. And it stayed open until they got all the money they could out of this property. And then they went bankrupt. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, my son and I played it years ago. Five dollars to play all you want. Put money in honor system box at Pro Shop. Had to, had a sign uh, that said, Beware of Rattlesnakes. Yeah, but it's gone. I mean, it's all grown up. Elbert, 1940. <clears throat> Rusty, you referenced a prior video of a couple of the businesses, photo gallery, etc. You were near today in Carol Zozo. I would like to see those videos. Could you give me the approximate date of the videos so I can search them out? On your YouTube page, thank you. Well, just do a, a, a search for Carrizozo, New Mexico, and see what comes up. It's probably been two years ago. <clears throat> Maybe three. Uh, Laura Bristow. I have family that live in Carrizozo. My mom was born there. Well, thank you, Laura. Nice little community. Sue D. Used to be the gen a general store, or five and dime, back years ago in my area, ended in the 70s or 80s. Yeah, a lot of that all, a lot of things changed in that period because that's when Walmart started getting big and things changed quick. It's still changing. <clears throat> this is Marla Schaefer. So quaint and peaceful. I haven't been there in years. Looks like people are making it nice and welcoming. Doesn't your town in Lano have the old buildings too? I like that. Yeah, it's got a lot of old buildings in Lano, Texas and and uh, but, but all of them are open. Though. They've got something in all of them. Anyway, uh, Scotty Thompson says, cool comment call. Thank you, Scotty Thompson, the masked bowler from Wisconsin. <clears throat> Copper Man, James Sams. Hello, Goat Man. We have two batteries for our Liberty Electric trikes. We can go on 20-plus mile rides on rails to trails. And we like to rock and roll on power level five. Well, good for you, uh, James. I, I like to go slow. And I, I think I can go around 10 or 15 miles on one battery. Maybe more. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I did it. But we're fixing to get one here. It, it was scheduled to be here tomorrow. And uh, then uh, the, the time changed. You know, I, I don't know if it's going to be Friday now or not. But UPS sent me a thing saying they were changing it but i checked this morning it still shows thursday between uh, up until 9 p.m if they delivered at 9 p.m they're going to be sitting out there in the dark wondering what happened tom fowler looks so peaceful rusty another great video yeah the carazozo uh we'll do a couple more here <clears throat> rita richardson you're right about Taking time to enjoy life reminds me of a song that says, Slow down, you move too fast. You got to make the morning last. No, that's very, very, very true. Uh, here's Scotty Thompson again. He says, I'm going to get lessons from a bowling coach at the bowling alley I bowl at Village Lane, Superior, Wisconsin. That name of the bowling alley I, I bowl at. I have one person that works at the bowling alley that was a certified bowling coach for a long time. And that can teach me how to do how to bowling better well good luck copper man with your bowling it's the mass bowler from wisconsin uh and last one here none you biz uh fridge or oh, i read that fridges are easy to fix but anyway guys from central oops, wrong, uh from near carrizozo new mexico on a cool morning uh beautiful days man the weather's have, weather's been great you know in the 50s in the morning 70s in the afternoon Muy bueno, man. Haven't had to run the air conditioner at all. I mean, I could, but I'm not. Uh, but anyway, guys, with that in mind, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Seize the day. Do it. Uh, yeah, carpe diem, seize the day. Uh, adios. Not adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. You just click on the link in the description, go to Amazon, buy whatever you choose. But anyway, guys, uh, what else? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. 
and you will not want to eat so much as in snack. So, and the only way to lose weight is eat less. That's it, guys. That's it. That, that's the only diet you need to know. And then what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep, hold it for a few seconds, and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Do it several times a day. And then what else? Stretch. 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 Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. Every dream, every memory, everything. So common sense says, Add good ingredients. How easy is that? And then what else? Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Why? Because it's the negativity from the entire world or universe brought to you by professional, highly trained talking heads to get inside of your head. So don't watch it. Read it. That's all you got to do. It takes all the emotion out of it. You know, and if you want to do one step better than that, if there's something you want to know about, check it out on your own. Do a Google search, you know what I mean? But anyway, having said that, uh, what else? Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. At ease, carry on. Adios, bye-bye. Hasta luego, vaya con Dios. Aloha. Until we meet again. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Carry on. Bye-bye.